Hi, I'm Chip, and today we have a dryer with a C3 error code on it. And uh, this dryer came to me from another service tech friend of mine in the next town over. He couldn't figure it out, and he wondered if I could take a look at it. I did, and surprisingly, I got it fixed, but you'll see in the video, it was a mystery. All right, let's get to it. Close them all the way, but they're really smashing down on there. These are some great, great tool right here. Love it. Now, this isn't a very pretty plug. We will shine it up. And it's just so we can test it anyway. Chances are Jimmy has his own plug and he won't want to buy this one from me. Oh, let's throw all this stuff away. Oh, you see that shot? That's perfect. When you're wiring these, you have this flat cord. The one in the middle is going to be your ground, and the two on the outside are hot. Just like on your dryer. And it doesn't matter which way you, you flip that. because you'll get the correct voltage. Alright, now we should have some power. Put our cover back on for safety. Fasten her back in. Now let's plug it in and see if it has any issues. Jimmy brings me stuff sometimes doesn't have any issues. He just wants me to check it out for him. There we go. Well, one issue is that it comes on without being prompted. Hmm. That shouldn't happen. We have a 3C error. What is a 3C error? Mm -hmm. 
door switch works. Hmm, something wrong here. I would say it's a board problem. Samsung, see, I don't know everything. Let's look up Samsung. Pick up something. Okay, 3C is a motor error. Huh, dry time error. Let's see. Samsung. This indicates a problem with the dryer motor. Motor's working. Hmm. We know the motor's working because it's tumbling and blowing. You know, maybe... Maybe this... Spark button. I bet this is a board problem. Let's. This is one of those that I don't have a quick solution for. In fact, I have never seen this happen. We well, know we don't have a motor problem because the motor is working. Safety first. Let's unplug this rascal. Hmm. This is going to be one of those mysteries. What you doing, bird?
go. Down where I can unpour them. There we go. Now, set this aside. We may have to go into this, see what is, what's going on. I want to say it's probably. I don't know what to say. This is a, a mystery. Let's open it up so see what we can see. Well, I'm gonna take the front off first. A Samsung, Samsung Blue, no that's not it, it looks like a brand new dryer, okay, don't see any others, something Lay that aside also. Okay. 
can unplug this. It's been used, has some lint on it. I wouldn't think these boards there's anything wrong with them. They're brand new. But it is possible. So hardly any lint in this thing. Okay. Reach in and go over the belt. What's going on here? Uh, Got the tub. And it says. Problem with the motor. None of this stuff is bad or defective. Perhaps something is grounding out that makes the motor come on. What? Let me plug it in and see if the motor comes on. Well, it might. I see. Nope. Well, let me see. Pull up on the switch. While I'm here, test all this stuff. C3. I see three error. Error, error, error. Ah, right, let's see if we get contact from there to there. Let's tell me. Yep, all of those components are good at one time. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I'm gonna put a test cord on this motor. I don't think there's anything going on with the motor. C3. I haven't seen. A C three. If I have, I can't remember. What is that? Is that the clip? I broke that off. Sure enough, I broke a piece of the motor switch. Eh, I think it'll work. It's not gonna hurt anything. Well, I have a test cord for that somewhere.
Where is my Contact. Ah, it's just not them. Nothing going on with the motor. Tab, come on. Yeah, well. Let me see if I have a spare. Board. Those things are hard to come by because usually if the dryer comes to me, that's what what the problem is.
Alright. This is probably one that I'm not going to be able to fix. Jimmy is not going to want to pay for a board. You know, it could be a relay that's stuck open or closed. Motor start relay, and it might be this one, these this brown wire goes down to that switch. Sometimes if we tap it, tap it, tap, tap it sharply. Just for the hell of it. Okay. Don't know if it's that or that. I'm puzzled. Boy, it is spinning now. That's another one we can sell. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's put this back together. All those components inside are good. Unless it's the control board. reason I don't fix them when they got the control boards messed up is because it just cost too much. Can't get your money back. You can fix them. People don't want to buy them. You have to get the price almost of a new machine. Come on now. Here. Working 
at the dog working on the dog. Okay. There goes the wind. The way I put these on is I hook these I hook these in these slots on the top and then I rotate the look at these wheels right here. I will rotate the drum while I'm pushing and it just snaps right right on. Then you can lift up again and fit both of those. You don't want to rotate that drum much because you risk um, knocking the belt off. Now what could have happened in the household to make this happen? I'm really puzzled. I haven't seen that error before. Right? Oh, I forgot to plug that back in. Good that I looked in there. You guys should have seen that and told me. Let's just put this right here for right now. I know that one goes there. This one goes through that hole. All right. So let's assume there's something going on here. I don't think I have this board. Defeat all of these snaps to get to that thing. That's not something I want to do. Hmm. 
it works. Here, see what I got. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have one, of but you never can tell. I had to replace one for a lady Wallace. I have got a lot of stuff here. But I keep it. No, I am not going to have one of those. I could pretty much told you that. If you look at a whirlpool versus a hot point, the boards are identical. Oh, well, kind of G makes both of them. These boards fit on lots of machines. Lots of machines. Okay. So we know. We know that it's not the motor and there's no components down here. So it's got to be this board or the interface. I'm going to start plugging in and see what we can do. And this is just a power supply to a light. Plug it in. Okay, and we don't have the clue. Yeah, maybe, maybe we need to put a lid switch on it. We don't know. A door switch. Let's put the door switch on it. Where is the door switch? Find me the door switch. Oh, well. Use the one that's out here. Thank you. 
Well, maybe something wasn't plugged in right. Make sure it's a suit. Yeah, it's getting hot. Huh. Well, I'm, maybe something wasn't plugged in right or something. I'm not sure. Whatever it is, we have seemed to have fixed it. Don't you just love the way they secure their, their doors? Alright. So maybe it was when that relay was stuck shut. Start relay on the motor. We'll go with that. Sometimes you fix them and you don't know how. How did I ever fix that? You don't know. It went too there, didn't it? But, you know, when you got that magic touch like I do. So Jimmy will be happy, but when you have a machine like this doing that, you really need to test it a many, many times. And when you have a machine that was doing like that, same thing. Let's wash. I usually run about five loads through them before I'm comfortable to sell them. It's almost lunch time. Yes, sir, I have the magic touch. That's all it is to it. Now I'll put this back together and it won't work. <laughs> but we shall see. First little freeze. There we go. Put that up there. Get out of the way. Pull over this in. Look at that. Yeah, make sure it's all it's supposed to be. Okay. Now, push it into these clips. Grab it. There we go. And start putting in our fasteners. A C3 error. That is the first time I've seen that. I may have seen it before, but um, I had to look it up. Couldn't remember. If I've ever seen it before. Let's 
one of those rare ones. Now when you're putting these back together, there's when you go in these plastic parts in the front of this thing, it's always got these little washers on them. So make sure you put the right screws back. Okay. Let's put our light on. And um in our face. Snap in. Should be plugged in. 42 normal. Let's see, temperature high. So it'll probably work on time dry. 60 minutes. Put on normal and start start it with no closing. It should shut itself down. when it finds that there's no moisture inside it. Yeah, I got this sticky stuff on me and There's a little evidence of a strike on it, so it got hit pretty hard at one time. All right, that's one of those things that I don't know what I, what I did, but I fixed it. But we are going to run some, some clothes through it before we turn it loose and say that it's fixed because it may have to get the same error here directly. I'm thinking this maybe there's a the start relay on that board. If it has a start relay on it, maybe can continuously sending power to the start windings on that motor. Could have burned it up though. I don't know. It said it was a motor error. I don't think it was. Here comes somebody else with a machine. Alright, I'm going to turn you off and deal with this customer.